Around eight months ago, I made this video where I talked about four of the virtual dollar cards that I normally use. I talked about their differences, their pros, their cons, just to make sure that um, people will make the right decision if they are trying to choose any of them. And um, I wanted to wait for a year before I would make an update, but I believe I've seen enough and I think it is time to make an update for this video. Before I begin, I just want to mention that uh, I'm still recovering from my fever, so forgive me if my voice doesn't sound as clear as normal. Okay, so we are going to start with GeekPay. And as you can see, I'm currently on GeekPay. It says, Welcome, Shaibu. And uh, let me click Cards to review my virtual dollar cards. So, uh, I can't... I'm just being silly. GeekPay actually deleted my virtual dollar card. I have no idea why. They didn't give me any reason. I just woke up one day, tried to check my dollar card, and I didn't find it there anymore. So... Yeah, this is where we are right now. They didn't give me any reason why and I didn't even reach out to customer care because I don't even use GeekPay that much when it comes to their virtual dollar card. So the only thing I have to say about GeekPay is that it currently works. In fact, all of them, they currently work, all the virtual dollar cards that I'll be talking about today. But as usual, all of them will have their differences. So you just get to pick one. This is just what I have experienced with them. That's why I'm making this video. Some people in my WhatsApp group, I'll leave a link in the description. It's the link that says contact me. If you click it, you will see my WhatsApp group. Anyway, some people in the group have complained about GigPay having issues. I was able to even reach out to one of my group members, Sharon. She talked about everything she experienced with GigPay as well. So I'll leave a link to that in the description as well if you want to watch that video. But um, other people are also using GigPay. Pay in my whatsapp group so yeah it's just like 50 50 at this point so that is all i have to say about gig pay now i don't recommend abandoning gig pay entirely you should still have an account with them just in case the ones you are using have issues in the future so yeah gig pay for now i don't use it anymore all right so let's move to gray all right so gray used to be everyone's favorite because it was one of the first virtual accounts you could create and virtual dollar cards as well you could use their dollar accounts, their pounds accounts, their euro accounts to receive payments from places like Amazon. That's what I initially used it for because I used to use Pioneer and Pioneer's rates were horrible. So yeah, let's not talk about Pioneer for now. And um, yeah, eventually their dollar account got terminated because the bank they were using, which is Silvergate, stopped working. I don't have a video about that, but you can do some research on that and you're going to find out why. So everyone abandoned Gray because they didn't have their USD accounts anymore. So they had to go for platforms like GigPay. But if you wanted to use Gray, you would have to use their pounds or euro account. The money that gets sent to you will be converted to any of the currencies you decide to select. So if dollar is sent to your pounds account, then it's going to be converted to pounds when it gets into the account. So that's why many people decided to just leave um, Gray. But today, at least for me, I have my dollar account. So if I click here, you will see that I have my dollar account. I'm going to be hiding some things because YouTube is against showing all this sensitive information. But uh, you can see it is a checking account. Um, Swift code, the Swift code is here. The name of the bank is Community Federal Savings Bank. And uh, yeah, I have my details now. You can also see over here it says new. So this is slowly rolling out because some people have been complaining that they don't have their details yet. So maybe reach out to customer care. There's nothing I can do about it. I don't even know why I got mine. I just saw an email one day letting me know that my details were available. So maybe it's for the people that created accounts with them, like when they started initially. I don't know, but uh, yeah, I have my account. But anyways, this video is not about the accounts, but their virtual dollar cards. So let me just click virtual cards. And uh, yeah, they deleted mine as well. I don't know why GeekPay and Gray deleted my virtual dollar cards. I don't know if they have something against me or so. They didn't give me a reason why, or maybe I missed an email if they did, but I don't know why they deleted my virtual dollar card. So for now, I no longer use Gray as a payment method. I only use it to receive funds from Amazon. And recently I even disconnected my Amazon account from Gray because I have connected it to something else, which I'll be talking about soon. So GeekPay and Gray, they do work. Many people still use Gray in my WhatsApp group and um, you can use it if you want. If you have not created an account with them before, it is still very useful. So you can try them if you want. Hopefully, they are going to get this USD account sorted out quickly. All right, so that's all for GeekPay and Gray. Now let's move to the next one. Hello everyone, this is Shaibu from the future. I'm about to start editing this video, but I want to share an update that I found out about Gray. And I'm going to show you on my computer. So yeah, let me show you. So it turns out that you can use Gray to send money to other countries. I didn't know about this. It was someone from my WhatsApp group that told me. All right, so let's say you want to send money to somebody that's in the UK. 
Well, all you have to do is to log into your Gray account. You can use your phone. I'm just using my computer for this. And then you select British Pound because the person is in the UK. So you just click send. I don't have any money, but I can still show you how it works. So you click send to a new recipient. And then you enter the amount you want to send. So let's say you have 10 pounds that you want to send to someone. I currently don't even have it. Okay, the, the lowest amount you can do is 20. So let's say 20. So the person is going to receive 15 because the transfer fee is 5 pounds. Anyways, so you can click here to select the country. And the country is going to be the United Kingdom. Next, you choose the recipient type. So if you are sending to an individual, you select here. If you are sending to a corporate, you select here. Uh, I will just click individual. Then you can enter the person's bank account number. So it's going to be a GBP account number for somebody in the UK. You enter it here. You enter their name and the SWIFT code, the SORT code, the description. And then you select this and you can validate the beneficiary. And from there, you know the next steps to take. But it is just amazing that Gray has this feature. And one of my group members on WhatsApp actually tried it and it worked. So GBP, UK is not the only country you can send to. Let's go for Euro and see. If you select Euro and you click send Euro, new recipient, then you can send to other countries. As you can see, there are so many countries here you can send to. There's Australia, Belgium, Bulgaria. And so many others. I can't sit here and start calling out names. It's going to waste your time. But you can just check this thing out. And from here, you'll be able to send money to people that you want from these countries. So the way it works is you first um, deposit Naira into your account. And then you convert the Naira or you swap it to the currency you want. So if you want to swap Naira to GBP, then you click uh, select and you click GBP. Where is GBP? Okay, this is it. And then you swap your Nera. Let's say you have 20,000 Nera. How much will you get? That means you get um, 14 GBP. And uh, if you want to send to a European country, then you can do the same. As you can see down here, it says 17. And I'm sure people from the UK can also receive euros. But if this money gets into the account, it's going to be converted to pounds. So don't think that because this is 17, you'll be able to send 17 pounds to a uk account it's not going to work anyways that's just the update and uh yeah go back to me that was sick last week while making the video all right so the next one is clasher and luckily i still have my virtual dollar card with them thank you for not deleting it but uh, i have a problem with clasher and uh, let me just show you what i'm talking about so if i tap fund card let's just say i want to fund it with five five dollars you see that five dollars will cost me according to them 5,315 Naira 60 Kobo. You can see right now I have 25 Naira in my Clasha account. So what I'm going to do now is just transfer this amount. I'll take out 25 Naira from it and then transfer this amount so that I can have this exact amount in my Clasha account so that you get to see the problem I'm talking about. So I'll see you guys soon. Okay, so as you can see, I now have 5,415 Naira. I did not calculate it well. I was off by 36 Kobo, so I just have to send 100 Naira to top off. Anyway, so if I tap cards and I tap fund card, I'm sure you remember that when I tapped $5, it showed 5,315. So I'm going to tap that. As you can see, it shows 5,315. If I tap continue, you'll see now that there's an extra charge called processing fee. <laughs> this was i can't like i have the amount they told me to fund but i cannot create a virtual dollar card or i cannot fund my virtual dollar card because of their processing fee like if they had just added this amount to their charges here like their rates here if they if they had just added the amount i don't know if this is based on how much you want to fund maybe if it is ten dollars and they will tell you that uh it is times two of the amount. Let's try 10 and see. I, I don't have enough money, but let's see. Okay, it doesn't even show continue. So just $5 and I tap continue. This charge is here. I wish they just added the fee over here. So that means that I have to send another money again to fund my virtual dollar card, which just doesn't make sense. <sighs> you know, I recently wanted to use this Clash card to pay for something online. But when I saw this, I just got annoyed and I sent the money to, to Chipa Cash. You can see it over here. I sent the money that I had to Chipa Cash. So I'm going to be sending this money back to my account. But I just wanted to show you guys instead of just telling you 
the reason why I'm annoyed with Clash. So I'm going to be sending the money back to my account. It's just 15 euro to transfer. And uh, yeah, that is why I no longer use Clash anymore. It used to be my favorite, actually. I was recommending it to everybody. But uh, now I cannot recommend it anymore. If they get rid of this, their, their processing fee, then sure, I may recommend Clasher again. But for now, nope, I can't recommend Clasher. All right, so the final virtual dollar card platform that I'm going to be talking about is by Cheaper Cash. And this is the one that I currently recommend. I've been using it. It has a lot of features that everybody can benefit from. So the first thing is that, uh, well, I still have my cards. It's about to rain, so I don't know if the lights will go out soon. Anyways, I still have my USD card. You can see it over here. I, re I recently even used it to pay for something. Uh, yeah, I used it to pay for something. It was paid for via PayPal. So yeah, it works if you want to pay on PayPal. I don't use PayPal that much, so I can't say a lot about it. But the thing is that cheaper cash has come a long way beyond just creating virtual dollar cards. Uh, the first one is that uh, you can now create a virtual USD account. So if I tap add cash and I tap account details, you'll see that I have my own USD account. I've made a video about it so you guys can watch it if you want. Now with this USD account, people can send money to your cheaper cash virtual USD account. I have connected this account with Amazon, so I'll be expecting payment by the end of next month. So when that comes, I'll definitely make a video about it. My Amazon account doesn't make that much money anymore because I don't blog as much as I used to. But anyways, now you have a virtual USD account with cheaper cash, which is very good. So if you're a freelancer, you can connect your virtual USD account with um, your freelancing platform, or you can just receive direct payments through your account details. And the bank they're using is the Cross River Bank, Calaba. <laughs> In the past, people will always ask, um, how can people from abroad send money to their Clash account? And uh, while using the virtual USD account is one way, another way is that um, people can just tap send and then search for your username. So that's what I'm going to do. Cheaper Cash is a bit slow, I don't know why. But if you tap here, Cheaper Tag, you can get to search for the people that you want to send money to or the people over abroad that want to send money to you. They can just search for a username. My username is this. So it's going to look for the person and then this is me, for example, with my country. And if I had people over in other countries, they will be able to search for me and send me money in their own currency. So if they're using dollars, they can send me dollars and um, I'll be able to receive it from my cheaper cash account and convert it to Naira. You can also do this with other people that are in Nigeria. So you don't need their account number, you only need their username and from their username, you'll be able to send them money. But the only problem of sending money with this method is that um, the person also needs to have a cheaper cash account, which can be, I don't know, some people may find that annoying to do. Just to send money, you have to create an account with an app. Why not just send it via an account number? which is why they now have that account number that you can use to receive money. And then another thing about cheaper cash that is also good is that you can send money from your USD, cheaper cash USD account to your domiciliary account. I've made a video about that, but that is another feature that I so much like. Cheaper cash has come a long way, offering so many services that I think are very useful to people that are making money online. So, so if I've not mentioned it before, I've made a video on how you can send money from your cheaper cash account to your domiciliary account. It has started raining, so I have to speed up this video. And then one of the reasons why I actually like this feature is that um, I know with UBA, at least from the branch that I withdraw from, the lowest amount you need to have in your account is $10. So just imagine that you have maybe $608 and um, you can't withdraw that $600 because you're only going to be left with $8. You can use cheaper cash to just transfer $4. No, not $4, $2, but you need $4 because they will charge you $2 for every transfer. I don't know if there's a range for their charges, maybe like from $1 to $100 will be a $2 fee and then from $100 above, maybe dollar fee i don't know but um yeah if you want to like top up your account with that two dollars so that you can be able to withdraw 600 then you just need to have four dollars in your cheaper cash account they will send two dollars to your domiciliary account and they will keep two dollars as their fee and you can go to the bank and withdraw 600 dollars so that you can have ten dollars left so with all these features for now i believe cheaper cash is the best platform to use in terms of virtual dollar cards and you know, fund anything that has to do with 
for the receiving payments and making payments online. So if you have not started with Cheaper Cash, I'm going to leave my link in the description so you can download it and register and start using it. It's a very good platform. And unlike Clasha, if you are trying to fund any amount, they are going to tell you the exact amount you need. And once you send it, they don't remove any fees. They just You can just use the money to fund your virtual dollar account. So they don't have any kind of extra charges and I hope they never do. Like if you create good services, people will run to you. I don't know why people have to do things in a way that people will not enjoy. This is just my opinion anyways. If you want to use any of the platforms, they all still work. But for me, I am currently going to be using cheaper cash and that is the virtual dollar card and virtual dollar platform payment method that I recommend. I almost see cheaper cash as being the next PayPal. Hopefully they don't ban Nigerians like PayPal has, but if they want to, they can put restrictions unless the person is verified. Anyways, that's all I have to say in this video. If you liked it, please give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this. I'll be seeing you in the next one. I have to stop now before it starts raining. <laughs> Alright, bye-bye.